Vladimir Putin's brutal invasion of Ukraine has proven the danger of allowing dictators to dominate global energy markets and weaponize oil wealth, using it to spread violence, instability, and terrorism around the world. And that's why we were, frankly, so taken aback when President Biden vetoed the Keystone XL pipeline. It would have safely delivered 830,000 barrels a day of responsibly produced Canadian energy to the U.S., more than displacing the 670,000 barrels a day that you all bought uh, from Putin's Russia last year. We were also perplexed where, with the administration's response to sky-high gas prices was to plead with OPEC to produce and sell more oil while working to lift sanctions on dictatorships like Iran and Venezuela. White House officials have reportedly discussed a presidential visit to Saudi Arabia to press for more production of their oil and their exports to the U.S. Oil that is used to buy cluster bombs dropped on Yemeni civilians. Well, Senators, uh, Calgary is a lot closer to Washington than Riyadh, and you don't need the U.S. Navy's Fifth Fleet to patrol the Great Lakes. Uh, to quote former Montana Governor uh, Brian Schweitzer, we don't have to send the National Guard into Alberta.